show you how to synthesize hexamine from ammonia and um, formaldehyde. You've probably heard of it in S-Bit fuel tablets or those solid camping fuel. Or it's also one of the main ingredients in the production of RDX, the main chemical in C4. And it's also widely turned into an explosive peroxide. Use it to make methylamine. Um, there's a lot of uses for it, but mainly I'm just interested in setting it on fire. So let's check it out. So the first thing we're going to do is just measure out 20 milliliters of our formaldehyde solution, which is 37%. Okay, and then we're going to add our 20 milliliters of formaldehyde. And then we're going to bring the volume up to 100 milliliters of ammonia. Now, you don't really want to be breathing in formaldehyde, so you always want to make sure that the ammonia is in a little bit of excess here. And six moles of formaldehyde and then four moles of ammonia is the reaction to produce hexamine. And you'd definitely rather be breathing in ammonia when you evaporate this than formaldehyde, so just stir this up. It's a pretty exothermic reaction. You can feel it. It gets rather hot. And then just waft it. And you want to smell ammonia. And that was really strong of ammonia. Oh my gosh. So now I placed my baking dish outside in the hot Florida sun next to my air conditioner. It provides a lot of heat and a lot of breeze, so this should evaporate fairly quickly. Alright, so while we're waiting for that to dry, uh, we're going to go over what's happening a little bit. So we're using a 10% solution of ammonia, which means there's 10 grams of ammonia in 100 grams of water. So in 10 milliliters, there's 1 gram. And we're using a 40% solution which means there's 40 grams of formaldehyde in 100 grams of water. So that means 10 milliliters of formaldehyde solution equals 4 grams of formaldehyde gas dissolved in the water. So this is the balanced equation for ammonia. 4 moles of ammonia, 6 moles of formaldehyde will give you one mole of hexamine and six moles of water. So that means what you're looking for is a six to four ratio between the two. Well, since we know that there's 10% available ammonia, then that will mean 40 milliliters of ammonia equals to four grams, all right? And then 15 milliliters of the 40% solution of formaldehyde will give you six grams. So that is the ratio that we are looking for in this reaction, okay? But you always wanna make sure that the ammonia is in excess. So instead of 40 milliliters, I did 50 milliliters, which will give you five grams, but that's just because you don't want your house to smell like ammonia. All right, so that is what's going on here. All right, so that is my final product of hexamine, and you can see it's, it's burning, as it should be, finally. The problem before was it was too wet. Couldn't light it with matches, so I had to go with the torch. But yeah, it's a clean burning, hot flame. Yeah, uh, I can't smell anything coming off of it. No formaldehyde, no ammonia, so 
Hmm, actually, yeah, it smells a little funny, but... Anyway, it burns for a very long time. So anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be taking a... I'm going to be trying to making videos as often as possible, but the thing is, I'm in college right now, so it's going to be hard to get regular videos like this, but... Yeah. I'm pretty excited because this, I think, is a YouTube first. I have not come across a synthesis of hexamine yet, so this is pretty exciting. Somebody suggested that I make more original videos, so I, that's what I went out and did. Ah, ooh, it is hot. Shout out to the Chembros group, JMAP, AL Chemical Life, AM Chemistry, Splurgen, Goofer King, uh, Element Guy Collector. My mom is probably not impressed, but I'm impressed. It looks cool. So there you go. That those two grams burned for quite a long time. Still going. Well, my phone's about to die, and this is about to turn out of battery. So until next time, rate, comment, subscribe, and have a good day.